I did watch them, fly it, and I'm on the escape part right now, but I don't know if you can see in the comma, it's currently raining. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, it's a fault of being this But anyway, um, so yeah, main thing to watch them is commitment, because the more you commit to the watch them, the less will go wrong. Um, so yeah, just when you get the motion of the bar, you're completely sorted and you're comfortable with throwing the bar. Like, it's not out of the ramp yet, but just in general, so, 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 so I guess if you're right, if you're right, you're probably going to put in your right knee, that's your throw to your right hand, so just sit there and get that down. Make sure your left hand always catches the bars first, because if you're going to catch the bars and you do miss them, you just can't bar and land two handed. If you can, then well done, but nobody lands as far as them two hands, they always have a catch in hand, even if you go this way, the hands like that just always like that buff, so you don't delay, you don't just catch, and then put the hand back on, it just kind of like, just it happens, but not like, it's not like, it's just, the hand catches like just before, so it's just catching hand, um, if you just go that way, that's the catching hand, so it's like, um, yeah, basically, so it's, the end there, um, yeah, so it's like, you want to come out, hit the angle I was sitting at, actually, it's probably a good angle, like there, back in an angle, and then you want to like, because you'll be out of the ramp, obviously you just sucked out from the ramp to the rest, you want to stretch your arms out fully, and then like, kind of sit over the back of your seat, and then just give it a good throw as hard as you can, and um, you can either pinch your seat, or your front, Slim seat and right at the ball. <laughs> I don't know, I've never have found it comfortable to pinch your seat, but that is my opinion. So it's just what's ever comfortable with you. You know, just go out, find a nice, comfortable fly out or wet, like wedge or bank or something. Whatever lap you seem to be on the most and you want to learn a bar out of. And uh, just come out with two feet on, just put on the bar spin. Uh, don't be leaning too far over because then that seems to, it seems to lock up the bar and then you ain't catching the flip. Oh, well, so don't lean too far back because then you won't land it. It's like that angle is probably the best for the bar because then once you've caught, once you've thrown it and you've caught it, then you can suck up so then you land like back to your front wheel. I do that sometimes. It's, it's the natural thing to, once you've catch the bar, to pull up for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. Everybody does it. So yeah. Um if you want to go the half bar route, I would actually recommend it. Um you know, just half bars. Um I've actually taught three people how to bar via the half bar route. Um well obviously I learned bars half bars myself. And then I learn bars because you know, I guess you have to level out in a certain way and throw the bars and catch them, so it helps a lot. So you know. Um yeah, not a lot of the rocks are going to be able to get out of the land one and you will just fall, but it won't be painful. Because if you're committed enough, then that must be fun. So yeah, just pull out helmet knee, while shifting knee joints. 